Hello guys, a very warm welcome. It's Choma here back with another video. And in today's video, I am sharing with you guys how I moisturize and style my edges, aka laying down my edges, aka taking care of those baby hairs. So if you want to be able to see how I get that done, then stick around. All right, guys, here we go. Okay, so I'm starting off on a twist out. As you guys know, I've had flat twists in all week. And what I generally do with my edges is I go ahead at this stage and apply the edge control or the gel. But I also wanted to be able to show you guys how you can easily moisturize your edges if you want to be able to better take care of them. If you're somebody who wants to grow out your edges, who has weak edges, and you want to be able to ensure that they are growing out and growing out strongly, um, this is an extra added step that you can actually do to help you along the way. And what I'm doing as you can see is i'm applying peppermint oil to my roots to my edges and i'm dabbing the peppermint oil in just enough so that i can then be able to work the oil into my hair as you can see me do at this point i'm going to do this along my hairline so i'm dabbing a little bit as i go along and then rubbing that in there oil tends to run away from you and run into your face as i'm dabbing i'm making sure that i'm catching the oil before it literally runs down my face so once I'm done applying the oil, I then go ahead and massage for a few seconds, work the oil into my hair. I love peppermint oil. Peppermint oil has got great benefits for growing natural hair. It's great for stimulating the root and it gets the blood going, it gets the circulation going and it leaves you with a nice sensational tingle. Oh, I love applying peppermint oil onto my hair. It just always feels so good. It smells so great. It's just so lush. So I definitely love doing that and it's a great process if you you want to be able to take better care of your edges what I then go and do is grab my castor oil this is another great for growing your edges we all know the benefits of castor oil guys if you want full details and benefits of both the peppermint oil and the castor oil it will be in the description below so I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the peppermint oil but this time with the castor oil now if you guys think this is a little bit long-winded to apply an ingredient at a time or a product at a time what you can do is mix the peppermint oil and the castor oil in one one little bottle so you can apply just the once and do the same motion I didn't want to do that I've got like a small bottle of peppermint and the castor oil that's nearly done anyway so I just applied one product or one ingredient at a time but you guys can put that into one little bottle and apply and it's it will just save you some time that way so that's my little power tip for you but in terms of moisturizing my edges beforehand, this ensures that my edges are well taken care of, that I'm not going to be tugging on them and that they're not so dry. What I did with my twist out as well, I spritzed my hair with water. So it's great to actually spray a little bit of water on your edges as well, just so you can add that little extra bit of moisture back into your hair and then work through with the peppermint oil and castor oil mix. And what I go ahead is just continue that motion until I'm done and now I'm I'm ready to start laying my edges. For today's video, I am using the new Discovery, which I'm loving right now, the Eco Styler Black Castor Oil and Flaxseed Oil Gel. Guys, if I tell you about this gel, I literally have to do a separate video just reviewing this gel because it's gone into my faves, like shot all the way up to my favorites, especially for my edges. Now, as you can see, right, my edges are still a work in progress. For anybody that thinks I've got the perfect edges, guys, I still have a long way to go with my edges. And you can see when I start to bring them out a little bit in terms of what work that I've been doing and the work that still needs to get done right it's great to have your edges out in this way so I've actually brushed them out and this gives you a clearer picture of what you're working with and this also helps to be able to then define your edges when you're laying them the way I usually do it is I usually just brush back but this is an alternative way that you can actually define your edges if you want that look where you want your edges to stand out this is a great way of doing it just bring Bring your edges out and then apply the edge control or the gel as I'm doing what you go ahead and do after you've applied the gel is as you guys know there's that brush and now the little toothbrush is just a great way for you to be able to actually line the edges down in quite a smooth motion you can also use a pick comb to be able to do this a pick comb does a great job in terms of laying your edges down what you want to do is basically bring the baby hairs forward and then sweep as you go along 
along so as you guys can see i hope i'm explaining it properly what you want to be able to do is sweep along and where you feel that there's a turn that's where you bring the hair in a little bit this is definitely a great way for you to be able to define your edges if you want them to stand out then this is a great way what i'm gonna do is do this all the way along the hairline as you guys can see i will also do a top tips on how to grow your edges guys i get a lot of questions on this like a lot of people ask me about how to grow their edges and what they need to do and all of that stuff so i'm going to put together a video of what has helped me grow out my edges and hopefully we'll be able to help somebody along the way as well so what i go ahead and do at this stage is either grab a scarf or a bandana bandanas have been my friends lately i just feel that they set my edges a little bit better than scarves do so that's what i've been sticking to but a scarf is absolutely fine for anybody who doesn't have a bandana at this stage what the scarf or the bandana is going to do is it's going to keep your hairs down what tends to happen especially in humid places is the moment you've laid down your edges that gets frizzed up it gets disheveled and you're like what so putting down a scarf or a bandana onto your hair just make sure that it sets so that it dries itself out and then it stays in that position and that gives you the perfect look with your edges all laid down so i go ahead and leave the bandana in for about 10 to 15 minutes if i'm in a rush if i've got other things to do in the house before i have to go i'll leave it in for about half an hour to an hour this is a styling technique so if you're getting ready to go out for the evening for example then you want to be able to add this step in and it definitely helps to then be able to set your edges guys you have to forgive me because this was not how I was actually going to close this video I actually deleted some footage in my rush on Saturday which I'm gutted about because what I went ahead and did is I removed the bandana so you guys can see exactly how the edges get laid but I completely just completely deleted it I, I was so upset this video was literally not about to come out today because I was like oh my gosh what am I gonna do but I managed to salvage it I filmed a little bit of my finished look so you guys can at least have an idea of how it turned out and how I stepped out on Saturday those of you guys following me on Instagram stories you would have been up to date with this look so if you're not already following me on Instagram then you guys already know what to do but this was the final look guys this is how I wrapped it up this is how I finished and this is a quick and simple way of how you can actually create more defined edges that you can step out and yeah rock the world with your afro and your nicely laid down edges so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please do give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it also comments below for any questions if you fancy a bit of a chit chat you know i'm always good for it guys if this is the first time that you're checking me out or you're returning and you haven't subscribed yet then go ahead and subscribe thank you so much for watching guys and until next time bye